Let's make a cat house out of a 120 quart cooler. Now originally I'd put this cooler on marketplace and it's a it's a fairly big cooler. And originally when I bought this, I think it was a hundred bucks. And I've been using it for years. They're not all that great. But um, I put it up there for twenty bucks on marketplace on Facebook figuring, you know, somebody's got a family could use it because I I've bought in better coolers since then. Well, I ended up getting so many men, it's still available, still available. I'm like, people, if it's up there, it's available. You want it or not? 20 bucks, not even worth my time. And uh, then the wife suggested, well, why don't you make a cat house out of it? And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. So I marked it sold, and I'm going to make a cat house out of this thing. Now, I made a cat house a long time ago. It's built like Fort Knox. You know, I'm not some great woodworker. I'll link it if you want to watch that. That one actually sits on my front porch and the cats do use it in the winter. But uh, we've got so many cats coming around now trying to get a free meal. And we feed them. So I thought, well, I'll take this and turn it into, um, into a cat house. And basically the plastics broke off on the lid. So I'm not going to need that. And uh, these things broke off too. So we're just going to throw it on top. Okay, this ain't rocket scientist, but basically, I'm going to go four inches is what I'm going to do. And like I said, it, it's not rocket scientist. I'm not even, you could measure it if you want, but I'm sure the cat's not going to care. Okay. So I want a four inch hole. what I want. Now I'm going to use one of these flat bits. They drill a circle. This is a half inch. You can use smaller ones. We're just trying to get a hole big enough to put in the uh, jigsaw blade basically. Yeah. And for the heck of it, I'll put another one down here. Another one here. And put one in each corner. Now you could take an X-Acto knife or something for cutting it. You could cut your way through that with a knife. You don't need all these hand tools. It's, these hand tools make it a whole lot easier. And we got a hole. Okay, I cut my four inch hole and I went a tiny bit bigger, maybe half inch or so. And there's my hand, there's the hole. There's your fist. It's pretty enough room for a cat, maybe even a tiny bit too big. So now that we got the hole drilled, this took like what five minutes not even now we're going to take duct tape and we're going to line the hole okay we ran the duct tape halfway and I lined it halfway on the inside we're going to go on the other side and do the same thing when I come to this side I clipped it and that way the tape would fold over so that's not looking too bad now I'll go ahead and get the rest done Okay, there we go. One uh, hole that's um, duct taped up. And my measurement, I guess, for this is 
five inches. I guess I made a five inch hole. And that's it. Now I can put the lid on, put some straw in it, and duct tape around the edge of the lid. If you don't duct tape the edge of the lid, then uh, it's going to it's going to get wet in there. There we go. One cat house made out of a cooler. Ready to go for this winter. It's going to make a lot of cats happy. Catch you guys on the next one. And you see across the top edge where I ran the duct tape, probably need two rows of that all the way around after you put your straw in and you're all set.